Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove this weather vane. Now, this can be a very useful tool in this project. Basically, whenever you might have a, an ex-girlfriend or boyfriend, well, you can just knock them out of the picture just like this. It doesn't work in every situation, and as you'll see in this particular one, we will have some adjustments to make. Now, I'm going to start by creating a rough selection. And for me, I'm going to use my pen to do it, my tablet pen. And I'm going to switch over here to my third tool down. It's a lasso. And I want to make sure it's on the lasso and not one of these other ones. So I'm going to leave it on the lasso. And the way this tool works is you have to click and hold your mouse or drag along the tablet. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap down and hold it and go around. And I'm going to leave some room around the edge. You don't want to go right up to the edge. You don't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. Once you have it selected like that, you'll see your marching ants. And uh, at this point, we can go ahead and fill in the content. So we're going to go Edit, Fill, Content Aware. I'm going to click OK. And it goes through for a moment. And there it goes. The object is gone. Now, we have some issues down here. The uh, horizon looks like it's kind of cut off a little improperly, so that would be something that would be troublesome. Uh, I'm not really worried about that right now. Uh, you also will get different results than I do, depending on where you uh, click to fill. I'm going to uh, deselect for a moment, so I'm going to go to Select and Deselect. You could also have used Control D to do that. And I'm going to see that, yeah, there's definitely some issues here. Uh, one of them is that the there's like a faded line here going down. Now what you could do is try and use your spot healing brush in that area as well. So I'm going to just see if I can kind of push in there and see how that's doing. Let's see. Yeah, so that's going to allow me to remove some of the edges. Uh, sometimes it's not perfect, and when that happens, what I'll do is I'll switch over here to my regular clone stamp tool. And for the clone stamp tool, it works a little bit differently. I'm going to make it a little larger. I'm going to go to the size here, and I'm going to make it bigger. Let's see. And a little bigger than that. How about 160-something? Sounds good. Okay, and whenever you try to click with it, it's going to come up with a warning. Don't just dismiss this warning. Always read the warning. It says, could not use the clone stamp because the area to clone has not yet been defined. So you have to alt click to define a source point. So the way this works is the clone stamp, if you uh, set a source position by alt, holding down alt, that's the also the button with the little divot on the tablet, and you can set a source point. I can say, okay, I want to go here. What that does is that captures the mouse cursor, uh, the pixels in that area into my mouse cursor, and when I move around, it's going to hold it inside. So I'm going to go right over here next to it, and I'm just going to gently paint here and see. So you see how that kind of faded that out. Now, I went too low, and I got some of this darker color coming in. So the clone stamp's not a uh, easy tool at first. You do get the hang of it after a while. And one of the keys is, honestly, to lower the overall opacity. So up here in that tools bar here, I'm going to turn it down in opacity. This will make it work really slowly. I'm going to make sure it's very soft. I'm also going to make sure it's on the this tool over here. The the brush setting is a very fuzzy tool, and its uh, hardness is zero. So that's going to make sure that it does a good job. Probably going to make it a little bigger, maybe up to around 200, uh, something there. And uh, I'm going to hold down Alt again, and Source, and let's try that area again. And you'll see it's starting to fade that out, blur that out. I'm going to get some of this color. Hold down Alt, Tap. You see that target. You know, see, I, I just lighten that up. So the whole goal is to try and use adjacent pixels to mask what you've messed around with. So go here and press a little bit. Just keep I keep hitting Alt and tapping to reset the position. It's all about resetting that position. Here's another issue. My horizon's not level. So to fix my horizon again, I can hold down Alt here outside where my horizon should be. And you see how the horizon is captured in my pixel? or in my um, brushes end there. I'm just going to put it right over here. 
and this is going to raise that up a little bit. Let's see if I can get another tree. I'm just going to add another tree right here. And I'm, oh yeah, I got to turn my opacity back up. So we'll go ahead and turn that back up and try that again. Alt click again on that tree. So now I have the tree and I'm going to put it right here in the middle. So there we go. So now I have another tree. Alt click again, have another tree. So now I have uh, some more trees covering that area where it's kind of weird and messed up. Now you could kill yourself trying to work on this and just you know getting every little pixel right and that's not really what I'm intending you to do I just wanted you to understand what the uh, content aware uh, fill will do on a big situation like this so give it a shot and see if you can clean up the image and uh, then make sure you save it into your folder